Hi guys, so today we're gonna to be talking about verb tense. Um, so verb tense can be really confusing in some ways. It can be easy in other ways. If we encounter a word or a phrase that you haven't heard before, don't be deterred by that. You might already know the rule. You might just not know the name for it. Um, and as always, feel free to ask questions. If you have a question, it's likely that someone else might have the same question and you could do them a big favor by asking. Um, and you can also make me do a better job. Um, so if I rush through something or if I said something in a way that wasn't very clear, if you stop me and ask a question, then you can help me become a better teacher as well. Um, so verb tense. Um, so we're gonna talk about the four basic tenses of verbs first. Um, so first you have the base form which is the kind of the standard how the word starts um, form. Um, so for example, the, the word watch, the base form is watch. Um, and then the three other tenses you have are past, present, and future. Um, so if it happened in the past, then she watched it. Um, if it is currently happening, if it's happening in the present, um, then she watches it. Um, if it's going if it hasn't happened yet, but it is going to happen in the future or it might happen in the future um, Then she will watch it. So you can see that we have watch which is our base form of the word and then we have watched watches will watch so those are three different um, basic forms um, and so you're gonna be looking at for the ACT questions of is the verb in line with when this is happening? Um, so we'll go through that more in the future, um, but that's just a good one to have in mind for now. Um, so the one of the advanced um, verb forms that you're gonna find on the ACT um, is perfect tense. And so there are three different perfect tenses. There is past, present, and future. Future won't come up very often. Um, it's kind of confusing. Um, and the ACT generally won't ask very many questions on it. So we're gonna skip that one for right now. But if you guys are really curious and wanna learn more about it, or if we have more time at the end, then we'll come back and we'll talk about that. Um, so let's start with past present, past perfect tense, excuse me. Um, so past perfect basically means that an action has occurred in the past um, and another action has occurred as well. Um, so it means that two actions have occurred in the past, but one occurred before the other. So we use this tense when we want to describe the order in which something happened. Um, so for example, um, the concept for MTV has been around since 1966, but the channel didn't launch until 1981. And so in that sentence, we're having two different subjects, two different words for the same subject really, and two different verbs to show the order in which something happened. Um, so I'm going to go through the sentence again and then I'm going to stop and highlight when the subject is and when the verb is. Um, so the concept, that's the subject of the first part of the sentence, the concept for MTV has been, that's the verb, around since 1966, um, but the channel, that's the second subject, um, didn't launch our second verb um, until 1981. And so what we're looking for, um, the unique word that's coming up is had. Um, so that's kind of a way of setting us in the past, but it's also setting up an order of events. Um, so we'll do another example, but we'll do that with present perfect. Um, so present perfect just means that um, a verb has occurred or an action has occurred at an unspecified time. Um, so for example, we uh, know that it happened um, at some point, but we're not sure exactly when it happened. Um, so, for example, MTV has aired many global benefit concerts, um, so we don't know the date that all of this happened. We're not going to list that off. We're not talking about a specific one, um, but they have done that in the past. So they have, MTV has aired um, many global benefits concerts. Um, another example would be um, the global benefit concerts have raised MTV's profile since the 1980s. Um, so we're talking about kind of the impact of those different things. Um, another thing that's coming up here is the past participle, which is um, in this uh, instance, um, it's, um, it's very frequently going to be ED. So that happened. So instead of happened, we have the ED showing that it happened in the past. Um, but then we also have some confusing words that we'll go over in the future. Um, and then the big thing that we're going to talk about really quickly is subject verb agreement, which basically means that if you have a singular subject, you want a singular verb. If you have a plural subject, you want a plural verb. Um, 
So they have gone to parties. Um, she has gone to parties. Um, an example, another one would be, um, I eat a lot, she eats a lot, or we eat a lot. And so when you're looking at sentences like that, you just kind of want to think about it out loud, think about how it sounds. Um, but a lot of this is just going to take practice. So we'll do some practice questions um, and then we'll go through any questions we have together.